Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Jeezy Weez. Welcome back to some more Helltaker the fan game, Second Circle. This game is freaking amazing. I actually got to talk to the game dev a little bit on Reddit, which is awesome. So cool. Uh, <laughs> so, um, last video I asked you guys to comment down below characters that you wanted to see me date next. Well, we got an awesome response from our good dear subscriber friend, Salted. <laughs> And they said to either date Pan Monica or Modius. I don't want to date freaking Modius. <laughs> We're going balls deep into the storyline here. Not in her. <laughs> <clears throat> One morning, you were walking through the house with a tray full of pancakes to rouse everyone for breakfast. Oh yeah. You ever just wake up to the smell of pancakes? Be glorious. <sighs> On your way, you run into Modius in the upstairs hallway. It's a really cute outfit. That's a really cute outfit. Good morning, Taker. Ah, oh, good morning, Modius. Pancakes? Mmm, yes please, I'm starving. Help yourself. By the way, have you seen Lucifer? Hmm? I believe she's still in bed. Figures. <laughs> Whoa, calling out Lucy like that. Goodness gracious. Anyhow, enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. As the demon turns to leave and you set your sights on Lucifer's bedroom, you feel a crinkle in your back pocket. Excuse me? Who's in my back pocket right now? The sensation reminds you of something that you'd been meaning to ask. Actually, before you go, I had something I wanted to ask you. Yes? With one arm balancing the tray, you dig into your back pocket and come up with a small envelope. Ooh. You hand it to Modius. The demoness looks, care looks it over carefully. What is this? Open it. With her finger, Modius splits open the top of the envelope and pulls out two slips of paper. And these are? Vouchers for a trip to the spa. I won a contest some time ago, and those just came in the mail the other day. Oh, Mmm, a spa trip sounds lovely. Would you like to go with me, then? I've got two vouchers there. <laughs> Modius! Ooh, let's get a little hot in here. You know, Taker's looking mm, 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 mighty fine, mighty fine. After you say this, the demon's cheeks redden so suddenly and so vibrantly that her complexion soon resembles that of a ripe tomato. Tomato. That's a good song named Tomato. You, you want me to go with you? Uh, uh, oh my. Is that all right? No! I mean, yes! I mean, w w what does this spa trip entail exactly? Or uh, anything you want, really. Let's see, they've got uh, massages, manicures, pedicures, sauna access, acupuncture. Oh! Don't scroll up, note to self. <laughs> well, well, uh, I just don't know what to say. I... If you aren't interested in going, I completely understand. Yes! Wait, no. Uh, no, I don't want to go. I do. I just, it's so... Uh... <laughs> I love the animation. It's so cute. <laughs> it, yes, Taker. I, I'd love to go to the spa with you. Very nice. Though uncertain, given the demon's rambling, you think she's accepted your date. The Riz Lord himself, Taker. My god. Uh, alright then, sounds good. How about we leave after breakfast? Still blushing, Modius nods furiously. <laughs> yes, sir! Very well, I'll see you then. As you turn to go, the demon scampers off down the stairs with the tickets in hand while you proceed with your morning rounds. Sometime later, after you've successfully delivered pancakes to everyone in the house, you and Modius hop in the car for your afternoon at the spa. Oh, that's a cool background. That's so cool. After a short drive, you arrive in the front of an extravagant building that has been stylized to look like a Japanese bathhouse. Ooh, spicy. You park the car and turn to see Modius looking up at the building with a frown. Then, as you turn off the engine, you are privy to the sound of her drumming her fingers on her knees. Uh, you've never seen the demon look so out of sorts. You watch her fidget in her seat for a while longer before thinking it is best to say something. Uh, Modus? 
Modius doesn't reply at first. Modius? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Got a little lost in thought there. Is everything alright? Again, the demoness doesn't seem to hear you. Modius! What's that? Sorry, did you say something? I was just asking if you were feeling alright. Me? Oh, uh, yes. I'm, yes, I'm fine. Ready to head inside? Not quite yet. You seem a bit... Before you can finish your thought, you hear the car door shut and look up to see Modius walking listlessly towards the spa. With a sigh, you get out of the car and follow the demon. Unconvinced that everything is fine, you nevertheless decide to leave that conversation for later. It doesn't seem like you're going to get a straight answer out of her just yet anyway. For now, all you can do is keep an eye on her, just in case. Looks nice. Ooh, it looks nice. The two of you make your way inside the spa and approach the counter. Hello, we'd like to redeem these vouchers. The woman behind the desk takes your vouchers and looks them over. Congratulations, Mr. Uh, Taker. Taker! Now, before redeeming these vouchers, we do offer a brief tour of our facilities if you'd like. You turn to Modius to see if she would like to say some, some in, like some say in the matter, but the demon still seems uneasy. Maybe the tour will help her relax? A tour would be lovely, thank you. So caring. Take her so caring. Such a good man. Excellent. Now if you'll just follow me. You and Modius trail behind the woman as she guides you down the hallways, briefly describing each facility as you pass. From acupuncture to massages and heated bathhouses to saunas, it seems that the spa has everything you could ask for. What a legendary competition to win then. There's so much, in fact, that by the end of it all, you're absolutely overwhelmed by the choices. Ooh, that's a lot of choices to get overwhelmed by. So now that you've had our tour, have you decided on what you would like to put your vouchers towards? We... We'd like to do the couple's massage. <gasps> Modius making moves! Oh my god! Modius is making moves! Startled, you glance over at Modius to see the only resolute determination in her heart-shaped eyes. Which is also such a cool touch that Modius has different shaped eyes than ever. They blink. Why did I never notice that before? The eyes have little animations. She blinks. That's even- Oh! <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, a uh, couple's massage is good. Right this way! Though stunned at the this turn of events and Modius' sudden vocality, you follow the woman down the hall and into a room with two massage tables set side by side. There are towels on the table over there. If you would both if both of you would just disrobe and lay on the tables, the masseuse will be here with you shortly. <laughs> Modius! <laughs> hmm. The woman disappears and you look over at Modus, expecting to see her nervously staring back at you. Oh my god! <sighs> Jump scared by the sound effects again. What you are met with instead is the sight of her standing stark naked before you, having undressed completely in the few short moments since the spa worker left the room. Jesus, Modius is a little... Uh, she's a little bit too ready for this now. She is all blushy. Nah. She's always reading her, uh, novels, her novels, and, uh, she's been preparing for this moment her entire time on Earth, the mortal realm. <laughs> Out of modesty, you quickly avert your gaze, but not without taking note of the startling contrast between the comfortable aurora, aura emanating off Modius now and the nervous energy she exhibited before. Weird. As you begin to disrobe as well, you hear the demoness settling onto one of the massage tables with a heavy and content sigh. You follow suit, and shortly thereafter, the masseuse arrives. <laughs> Very nice. We're just big chillin'. After some idle small talk, the woman begins to work. You know, I've never been to a masseuse, but I feel like it would be the most relaxing experience of my entire life. With a display of dexterity and strength you once thought impossible, the masseuse descends upon the muscles of your neck and back, undoing knots that you didn't even know you had before. I mean, you're dealing with the demon harem all the time, certainly. I mean, you've been stabbed before, so you're gonna have some stress knots in there, Taker. 
After each satisfyingly painful release, the woman switches between you and Modus, giving you each time to breathe. Has anyone ever told you you run a bit warm, dear? Mmm, do I? I mean, she's got freaking devil horns, she got a devil tail, 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 she got a devil tail. She's got hearts that just float around her head. Nobody's gonna mention it though. I like it. Must be the climate I'm used to. Oh, where are you from? Hell. Uh, oh. At this, the woman chuckles nervously. <laughs> you cannot tell if she is truly under undeterred by the revelation or if she thinks it's all a joke. In any case, the massage continues without much of a lull. She returns to you to work through the last few knots in your upper back. Then, much to your chagrin, the massage is over. Darn. That was fast. The masseuse leaves the room so that the two of you can get dressed. As you leave, you stop by the front counter to return in your vouchers. Modius beats you to the car. As you slide into the, your seat, you look to your companion and notice that she's avoiding your gaze and resumed drumming on her knees. Wishing you knew what was putting, uh, wishing you knew what it was that was putting her all out of sorts, you ponder questioning her further. Seeing the shy redness coloring Modius' cheeks, however, causes you to rethink that decision. Instead, you start up the car and head home. Perhaps that conversation is for another day. Fair enough. Never need to push a lady too far. Oh, shoot, and that's it. Modius had a really cool you. Oh, wow. She had a really cute, sweet date. All of them have actually been super sweet. Like, this is so wholesome. This game is actually so wholesome, unexpectedly so, you know. Uh, based off of what Helltaker was and everything, so this game is really super sweet. So, again, I implore you to comment down below what is the next demoness that I should take out on a date. We've done Modius, Cerberus, uh, bleh, bleh, Judgment, that's it. Three. So, comment down below what's the next demon I should be taking out, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace!